trying to isolate the cause of a noise in the front of this engine. I'm almost positive it's a bearing noise because from experience you can kind of hear that rumbling sound of a bearing going bad. And of course in an engine like this, this is true of all those newer engines that run serpentine belts. You may have five, six, seven things that are connected to that belt that could be causing noises. Here I have an alternator, I have an idler pulley, I have a belt tensioner pulley, I have an AC pump, I have an AC pulley tensioner, I have a water pump, and I have a power steering pump. And any one of those things could be causing this excessive, what I believe is bearing noise. Now you know in the past of my other videos I say, just take the serpentine belt off, and start spinning things. And usually you, by spinning things, you can isolate the noise very quickly. But I got to thinking, you know, for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years, I've been trying to find the ultimate device to listen to these noises to be able to pick them up and isolate them. I remember, you know, in the early years, a good old long screwdriver. You could even use a long extension. And what you're going to do is stick that down right on the bearing and put your ear up to it and listen away. Now I did that earlier. This is kind of what prompted what I'm going to call an evolution of a new product. And I remember this is typical of what I'd find in the past. It was like, okay, if I use this, they're all making noise. Every bearing sounds bad using a screwdriver. Now, obviously, if you have a bearing that's disintegrated, it's really going to jump out of you. But sometimes with these type of situations, you have one or maybe two bearings that are just starting to go and they're just starting to rumble. They spin okay, but they have maybe dried out on the inside. You can start to hear that run, rumble and maybe later on in this video I'll show you an example. But I'm thinking, you know, I've used this screwdriver thing and I'm, I'm done. I want to come up with something that really works. Now, if any of you tried to use this on a diesel engine, you've got so much noise going on around the diesel engine, you can't even hardly hear anything. You've got to kind of do this. You know, how many of you have done this where you plug this here and you're trying to pick up the noise? Is that the power steering pump or is that the water pump? <laughs> and of course, I bought these, I don't know, I probably bought at least 10 of different manufacturers on these engine stethoscopes. And I've never been happy with any of these. Now, if you're trying to isolate a noise like a mouse in the engine compartment, <laughs> these may, may, may work. But when the engine's running, there's just too much collateral noise these pick up. They have this probe that goes into this little chamber. And inside this chamber is a little flapper valve that vibrates. And that vibration is what amplifies the noise up into these earplugs. Well, if the engine's running, you got so much vibration, as soon as you touch the engine using this, I swear my alternator's bad. I swear everything's bad. <laughs> a little earlier, I thought, well, maybe we can modify this. Let's get rid of that, that little amplifier in here. So I took this, and I took one of these other units right here, and I ripped this apart. You know, I just broke it apart. And, uh, you know, you can see this little, it's almost like aluminum foil little flapper valve in there that kind of vibrates, that kind of amplifies the noise. But I think you can see from this situation, if you're trying to isolate a noise, let's say a wheel bearing noise where you're just spinning the wheel bearing, you know, very slowly, this might work. But when you've got a big engine running, particularly a diesel or a big V8, you've got so much noise around the engine compartment that I found these stethoscopes don't work. So about a month ago, I decided, well, I'm going to get one of these new electronic pickups. And I thought, wow, this is going to be, be the answer. You know, I can control the volume. There's a battery in here that amplifies it electronically. <laughs> this is even worse than the stethoscope. Uh, when you plug this in, you even start talking. You have to whisper real loud. You have to ah, I can hear myself. So you turn the volume way down, and then you don't hear anything. And with this on, if I just touch the alternator without the engine running, it makes this scratchy, screechy noise. So I said, I brought Jerson. I said, okay, Jerson, let's go to work. We're going to make something that can isolate the noise by toning it down enough. We're going to have to isolate the engine noise outside extraneous noise, tone the bearing noise down enough so that we can differentiate between a good or bad bearing because this, this, the screwdriver, 
do not give you enough delineation between what is good and what is bad. They all sound noisy. So after experimenting for over two hours, that's right, we spent about two hours messing around with all, all these things I've shown you. Now Brent, come out and pretend like you're writing <laughs> and, and then smile. <laughs> okay, am I rolling? Okay. Yes. Hey, hey, what are you doing there? I, well, I, I can't hear anything. What well, am I going to do? Start your engine, dude. Oh, you got to tell me to turn it on first. Tell me. No, no, keep rolling, keep rolling. We finally came up with what we believe is the ultimate design on this noise detector. Watch as I get Jerson on the engine here, and he's going to start out putting the probe on that tensioner idler pulley. That's the one that we think is not too good, all right? And he's going to hold that on there for a while, and then you're going to get to hear him move over to just the idler pulley. You can get an idea of the sound of that one. Then we'll move up to the alternator. You can listen whether or not I have a good alternator here. And then just for fun, I'll send him on over to the other side, and he'll put this on a fuel injector. So you kind of get an idea what a fuel injector sounds like. <laughs> doesn't work. I mean, it's, in the first place, I was going to demonstrate it. It doesn't work. I mean, it does, the batteries go dead in these. It's not doing nothing. Ah, ah. <laughs> well, what do you think? That works pretty well, doesn't it? I think you'll have to admit, this is pretty cool. So stay tuned for part two. We're going to take this new device and attack some noises in a diesel engine.